yeah. I had um, Dr. Jordan Peterson in this studio about three years ago, and he was talking a lot about the Bible and the stories in the Bible. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm not religious, and I don't know why he keeps talking about the Bible. And he said, he said, well, the the the, the Bible is is stories that are in the human DNA. It's just a reflection of the values of the human. And that's the way he looked at the Bible. And I never looked at that before. I always looked at it as a, a bunch of tales that didn't seem to make sense. Do you ever think that sometimes a religion can reflect things about the organism itself? And I don't know if I'm explaining well, he, that well. He's got, he's got a very odd idea, which is that, which is that something, he's, he's obsessed with Jungian archetypes. And he's got an ev even an idea that DNA itself is a Jungian archetype. And he thinks that when, when you see a work of art, in, or you see them all over the world, it just looks like a, a, a snakes, two snakes twined together or something that looks like DNA. So he's got this idea that somehow people have this ability to look inside their own cells and see DNA. I mean, this has got to be just complete and utter nonsense. Um, but you can see the appeal of somebody who loves the idea of archetypes. Right, I see what you mean. And so the fact that, yeah, it's weird because you're talking about memes. Like you said, a religion is a collection of memes that cooperate over time. Maybe it started as one is a superstition or one to explain this. Yes. And it kind of came this thing that seems to give meaning to the organism or explain the organism something about itself. And so it's interesting that your concept of the meme helps explain religion, which kind of flies in the face of Evolution. Well, it, 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 it doesn't in one sense. I mean, it, it, it's evolved in, its, in, its, in itself. It's, it's evolved, I think I'd like to say, it's evolved by mimetic selection as opposed to genetic selection. Um, and not everybody might see it that way. And some people might say religions evolved by cynical priests manipulating flocks to their own economic or even sexual advantage. Um, but, but I prefer to see it as a, as a non deliberate. Thing, at least partly oh, the religion itself yes it is a great structure for power and controlling the individual and well it is and, and, and it certainly has been used in that way historically yes yeah and again I guess the references I was making to the, the royal family here was is you know hundreds of years ago or a thousand years ago by making that divine connection it would be a great way for a family to I mean, stay it's in a power superb way to right? it. yes <laughs> yes it's quite effective yes maybe uh, less effective these days for people to buy in but back then very good tool yes i mean and it, it, again that's a meme that's recreated it's a preposterous idea when you think about it i mean it's so self-serving the idea that yeah. somehow divine right of kings this, this king rules by virtue of being anointed by God. I mean, yeah. what an astonishingly powerful, what's a, what amazes me is that how anybody could be so foolish as to fall for it, but, <laughs> but they did. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year's gonna be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. 
Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days, but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?